Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our gospel reading for the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany of our Lord. The gospel reading is Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 28. Mark chapter 1 verses 21 through 28. They went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed. So they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once, his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. One of the things that's in this passage, and there's quite a few, and I think the most important thing is recognizing Jesus' authority. And they recognized it, at least those who were in that synagogue on that day, they recognized it in what he spoke and how he spoke it. They recognized his teaching had authority. You know, in our day, there's lots of people that that speak, lots of people that teach, lots of people that uh, proclaim Christ. But are they doing it in accordance with his will? Are they doing it in accordance to what he has brought us in the scriptures. You know, in our Old Testament reading that we had on Tuesday, you know, we hear God warning through Moses that people presume to speak something that he has not taught or that speak in the name of another God will um, will die. Well, there's lots of people in our world who presume to speak for Christ, his approval, on things that the scriptures do not approve of. And it's so important that we recognize his authority and submit to it. That's really the difference. We can recognize his authority, but if we don't submit to it, if we ignore it, then we're in deep trouble. But Jesus' authority needs to be not only recognized, but also submitted to. Listen Twice in this passage, we hear about people recognizing Jesus' authority. Notice verse 22. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. And then again in verse 27. And they were all amazed, so they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority, he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. Dwell on this. It's a profound thought. Even the unclean spirits obey him. And so, if we don't, we refuse to submit to his authority, if we refuse to obey him, if we refuse and go our own path, aren't we worse than the demons? That's a stark thought. But Jesus has authority, not only as the Son of God, but we are reminded that God has seated him at his right hand and put all things under his feet. And so he has given him all authority. 
Remember Matthew 28. Jesus says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Those words remind us our need to submit to him, our need to obey him, our need not only to recognize the authority, but also put ourselves under that authority and willingly, willingly obey him. We recognize that's what he did for us. He submitted himself to the Father's authority. When he came into this world, when he became an unborn infant and then was born and lived and lived on this planet, lived on earth for 33 years, he submitted himself under that authority. He submitted himself to the laws of man, and he had submitted himself and was put to death on a cross, all for you and me. And as he submitted himself to all of that, he provides for us a righteousness that covers all our sin, a righteousness that makes us pure. So out of gratitude for everything that he has given us by his cross and resurrection, wouldn't we want to submit? Wouldn't we want to put ourselves under him? Wouldn't we want to recognize his authority? Wouldn't we want to submit to the God of our salvation, to our Savior and Lord? We need to dwell on that fact. He gave everything. He submitted for us. May we recognize his authority and submit to him out of gratitude for a salvation we have received from him. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us the ability to recognize your authority. Help us to submit to that authority. And when we fail and when we rebel and when we sin, we pray that you would cover us with your righteousness. Forgive us our sins and continue to bestow on us your grace and the victory that you've won for us by your cross and resurrection. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Thursday and a blessed weekend. May the Lord walk with you today and always, and we'll see you on Monday for Monday's devotion. We do stream our Sunday morning worship service at 9.15 a.m. Central Time. Have a blessed and beautiful day and weekend. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com. Thank you.